So the entire build for this project was built from two sheets of furniture grade maple plywood. I started by ripping all my material on the table saw, which can be a little tricky by yourself. I then used the leftover material to rip three inch strips that would make up the outer trim of the door and the center dividers. The last thing to rip were the X's, and those were about an inch and a corner wide. I then used my rip cut to cut the door to its final height. The next thing to do was the glue up, so I lined everything up as square as possible using my big drywall square, applied and spread out a decent amount of glue, and then used one inch pin nails to hold everything in place while it dried. And while I do this middle round of gluing, let me take a minute to talk about this video sponsor, Arrow Fastener. Arrow makes a wide variety of fastening tools including staple guns, nailers, glue guns, riveters, and more. I use the Arrow pneumatic pin nailer for this entire build as well as their 1 inch pin nails. If you'd like to learn more about Arrow tools and fasteners, check out the link in the video description below and thank you again to Arrow for sponsoring this video. The most complicated part of this build was undoubtedly the X design of it. I needed to make six of these to fill all six gaps. So I'd line up the piece to its exact location and then mark the piece and head over to the miter saw to cut it out roughly to size. And then use the disc sander and some 80 grit paper to remove smaller increments of material until it hit its final perfect size. Then much like the other trim, I'd lay down a bead of glue and use pin nails to hold things in place. The next day after everything had cured, I used some 80 grit paper to knock off the sharp edges slightly just ahead of finishing, and then just used some compressed air to clean off the dust. This door was actually really tough to stain. The inside corners of those X's were so small and sharp that I ended up needing to borrow a makeup foam brush to get the stain into those corners. The last thing to do was add a rabbit to the bottom of the door. And this would be so that the door could travel on a little track that's included with most barn door hardware kits. And this little battery palm router from Ryobi worked perfectly for this. So I'm using some matte black hardware I got from Amazon. I marked out the location for the holes based on the directions and then drilled them out. Then used a combination of an impact driver and a wrench to tighten everything and make sure it was square. To hang the doors, I'm using, I think what is called a call, which is just another three inch strip of hardwood plywood that I had stained the same color as the door. To install the rail, we put the barn door up on a three quarter inch sheet of plywood and then marked the area where the door would hang on the wheels. Once all five bolts were anchored to the wall, we could put the door on the track. Now the door kit came with these awesome little stops on each side that could be adjusted to sit wherever you want on each side of the rail so that you could perfectly control the overall travel of the door. Once the door was on the track for good I installed these small safety pieces so that it couldn't be bumped off the track and a combination of a drill and screwdriver made easy work of this. The final piece was to add the small door track. I just marked where I wanted to go on the floor and then used a drill to attach. So thank you so much for watching this video. I had a great time building this. I think it came out great. I think it really adds character to my kitchen. And overall, I'm just super happy with how it came out. One more huge shout out to Arrow for sponsoring this video. Without using a pin nailer, I really don't know how I could have clamped down all of these pieces at once and completed this project in a single weekend. So thank you so much again for watching. And until next time, happy making.